First, I receive a notification on my phone and scroll through to understand what the alert is all about. In this case, it is an OEE decline with one of my factories. I then navigate to the home page where I see a dashboard of production lines, equipment, news feeds, and other key metrics that I may be interested in. Today, the issue is with the line performance. So I open up the efficiency monitoring application built into Insight and investigate the problem. I can see that I click on it and I'm taken to the asset landing page where I can see that there is a pump overload condition that is impacting my OEE. I also see that it is one of the top five reasons for downtime and also contributes nearly 17 minutes of stoppage for each event. So let's dig deeper. We navigate in this case to PRISM. We see that a positive displacement pump has three potential failure modes, binding rotating element, increasing liquid viscosity, and over tightened packing. And that the binding rotating element is the most likely cause. So we click on it to see more detail on the fault, including its maintainability, whether or not a shutdown is required, the time it takes to repair, and the potential impact to the equipment if no action is taken. There are also steps to take to remediate the problem. As a field technician, I receive the work request, which contains the information related to the work to be done. Notice the prescriptive actions match what we saw in our predictive analytics application. This work request was generated by our asset management system, which allows you to create the work request, enter in the pertinent information, and assign it to an available resource. To complete the actions, I go back to my Insight homepage and I log a journal entry so that the next time either myself or someone else has trouble with this pump, we can see the details on the event.